there are two more important functions in tools menu that is invert colors and half bitmap to show the importance of those functions let us import a picture and show what it is for this is a pre-operated shape picture with Photoshop it is formed into bitmap in this menu if you select the invert colors option you will see that the negative of it is now obtained if you click in invert colors again you will see that the colors are inverted this invert thing can also be done in photoshop or corel draw or other softwares like but if you want to make the inverting in laser cut you have also that option simply select the picture and invert colors half bitmap can also be done again in Photoshop or Corel Draw, but you can click on half bitmap and you can give the dot size and the scan gap. Scan gap and the dot size are important for the resolution of the picture you formed. For example, let us give the dot size a big value and see the difference. Let us give 2 or 5. And when we click on OK, dot size is 5 and scan gap is 0.03. It will finish and show us the result in a few seconds. You see that the dots are so big and the resolution is not good enough. Let us undo it and let us make this time the dot size as 0.5. After it finishes, you will see that dots are smaller and resolution is better. So you will get, you would, you will obtain a better engraving result than you engrave this picture on any media. You see that the dot size are smaller this time you get better resolution on the shape about the scan gap we will talk about it in detail in our future lessons and the rest of the tools in here about the laser operating will be explained also in the future lessons those tools in the laser menu also exist as you see in here up to now we finished the top left and the bottom menu and now we are left with the right and side menu to be able to explain the functions of this part let us make a rectangle and let us write something inside that rectangle it may be for example again matter giving the height at the distance 
let us increase the size of the script a little bit and bring it in here now there is a script matter so let us ch change its color let us make it blue let us make this rectangle cut from for example an acrylic three millimeter thick acrylic and let us engrave this script on it cutting and engraving will be two different operations so we have given two different colors for them to be able to give two different power and speed parameters to them when you look up on the right top menu you will see that these two colors are formed there one is black it is the rectangle the other is blue it is the script and just next to the color of it color of the layer it is function is given in mode part if you click on this arrow you will see that you can select whether cut it engrave it create engrave it and hold it most used ones are the cut and engrave so and we will cut this so let us select cut for them and for the matter we will engrave it so let us select engrave it is already selected as engrave as you see when you pull this menu bar to right you will see some parameters can be written these are speed and the power if you click on double click on the speed of for example the cut operation you will see that there are a few gaps that you can feel first one is the speed this speed must be suitable for your machines laser power and for the material that you will cut because thicker metals thicker matters needs higher laser powers or lower cutting speeds if you have for example a w2 regi laser tube then its power will be of course less than a w8 regi laser power laser tube so w8 will be able to cut the same material faster than w2 so the speeds must be input in this menu accordingly and in our future lessons we will show some tables which are obtained by trying every time and getting the optimum results so for each material for each thickness for each laser power there are optimum cutting speeds and cutting powers but now let us input an ordinary arbitrary value for three millimeter thick acrylic for example for a laser power tube laser tube w2 let us input 30 millimeter per second speed as the cutting speed the speed is the speed of the laser head while cutting and the unit of this is millimeters per second just below it there is power while cutting we always use our power we generally use our power at highest values 
don't input 100% because this power input means the percent of your full power. For example, the full power of W2 is 90 watts and in here if you input 100 as the power it means 100% of 90 watts which is equal to 90 watts but if you input in here 95 it is 95% of 90 watts it makes something like 80 86 watts so this is only the percentage not the watts the unit of this is percentage use 95 percent for cutting operations most of the time do not use the full power of the laser tube 95 percent is good enough and just below it there is corner power corner power must be a little bit smaller than the original power what corner power is let me let us explain this while cutting laser head gets slower when it gets closer to the corners because it has to decrease its speed in a, in order to be able to turn the car turn the corner good enough and smoothly so when it decreases its speed if you go on with the same laser power also in the corners the laser power will be a little bit more for these cor corners because it is now slower so we decrease the power approximately 5% so if you give 95% to the power give 90% to the corner power the overlap leave it as it is it is most of the time zero so leave it as it is these functions not blow blow while laser or always blow can be used can be active only when if you have a machine with air blow valve pneumatic valve and electrical operated air blow valve if it doesn't have do not use these parts not blow closes the air blow while laser laser closes uh, opens the valve then it is only using the laser light and always blow as you may understand blows always when you click ok you will see that the values that you input are now in this row and th there are two more things you can input this is the output tick if you do not click on output the laser cutting machine do not process this line if you click on output it processes this line and the times it can repeat this operation in the amount of the times you input in here for example if you input in here two then it cuts this material two times with the